So did you hear the news? Waves version 12. It's here. Let's get into it. All right, so this is specifically for my Studio One users. If you're still using version four and you're concerned about whether or not version 12 of the Waves plugins is gonna work for you, well, I was concerned too. I wasn't exactly ready to upgrade to Studio One uh, five professional just yet. I'm still rocking with uh, uh, S14. And I didn't wanna go ahead and install this because on the Waves website, it does not say it's compatible. They list out all the DAWs that are compatible with version 12 and you no know, Studio One uh, Professional version four is not there. So I said, why not roll the dice anyway? The worst thing that could happen is it doesn't work and then I have to go back and purchase Studio One five, right? And I'll take that L for the team. So going in let's take a look at it what i did just now have you guys take a little peek i went on to the waves website now you know i know most of you guys already understand that you can update through the waves uh what do we call this thing the wave central but you do have to go to the webs excuse me you do have to go to the waves website in order to do the update you go to where it says get the latest version you select the plugins you want to do that for then you can go ahead and you click uh you know get the latest version and then you will get this pop up here to let you know the ones that you selected um have been you know they've been su successfully updated right to the latest version here then you can go ahead and click install and activate your products right and give you this list here follow the steps Da, 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 check which system, da, 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 da. then you go ahead and you launch Wave Central. All right, so now I can launch Wave Central. So here it goes. We're looking at my Wave Central. I hope there's no proprietary information I can't share here, but y'all are my people, so it's all good. It does say that I have version 12, all right, but they're not activated nor are they installed. So what I'll need to do, you guys see, I don't have a whole bunch of Waves plugins, um, but I really feel like this is all I need. And there's some extras in here that I really didn't pay for. Um, <laughs> in any case, um, yeah, I might have gotten free during a promo. I select them all. I'm gonna hit install and activate. It says that it has to close OBS Studio. Yeah, I had to swip applications on y'all real quick just so that we could uh, get down to this part all right so now i'm going to hit install and activate hopefully i don't get another error it's moving the licensing all right preparing anyway we'll be sure in the editing to speed this up for you All right, it says install and activate complete. I hit okay. Boom, pal, everything is solid. Our next move, gonna close this stuff out. We're gonna open up. We'll go ahead and open this up and let's see what happens. And I'm just going to open up a session that I know has some Waves plugins in it. Uh, look like they're loading up just fine. Alright, 
everything looks just fine. Let's go in here. I see the options to make things bigger. Never had that before. It looks great. It's working just fine. I can make it a little bit smaller too. So we're good there. And then, all right, have the preset browser, which was another feature. And now you can search your presets. So it's all functional. So, hey guys, listen, if you have Studio One version four, all right, you got Studio One four, you want to know if the Waves version 12 plugins were going to work for you. There you go. Everything's working just fine. Until next time, everybody get bigger, get better. Crescendo. Call that reverend.